This segment brought to you by the Western Kansas Wildlife Travel Center in Oakley. Once again, we want to thank Mittens Western Kansas Wildlife Travel Center for sponsoring this segment every week. And I get a lot of feedback and I know you, you love it. And I get a lot of pleasure out of researching the wildlife and just, my gosh, the crazy stuff we have. And as you all know, we've got um, a box turtle is, what, is he our state turtle now? What is that? So I thought we'd just take a look at some of the other creatures. We talked about mussels last week, and I couldn't believe the variety of those. So I think we're going to talk about all those little amphibians. That'd be frogs, wouldn't it? Frogs and related creatures. So as you're out exploring the lakes and ponds and creek banks, let's see all the little amphibious creatures you can identify. According to Travis Taggart of the Sternberg Museum, there are 102 established species of amphibians and reptiles in Kansas. That includes 22 frogs, toads are frogs too, and eight salamanders. The American bullfrog is the only one of those species to occur statewide. The rest have their limits due to interactions with environmental variables that are difficult to tease apart. In general, and especially with respect to amphibians, the herpetofaunal biodiversity increases to the south and east with the most in Cherokee County and the least in Cheyenne County in the far northwest. These figures come from the Kansas Herpetofaunal Atlas, an invaluable resource which represents the work of thousands of individuals that collected and recorded the 60,000 plus specimens and observations presented. The current level of understanding with respect to the Kansas herpetofauna is a result of their efforts. And while the distribution and natural history of the Kansas herpetofauna are probably better understood than any comparable sized and diverse region on earth, there is still much to learn. And those of you wishing to contribute to the Atlas may do so by donating specimens or adding observations directly. The KHA serves both education and conservation. The occurrence records, some going back to the 1850s, represent baseline data for future research, assist with conservation needs as they arise, and contribute to the increasing public awareness of the amphibians and reptiles in the state. Welcome to Western Kansas Wildlife Travel Center, right here in Oakley, Kansas on I-70 at exit 76. I-70, after all, is America's Main Street, and we're right here on Main Street for you. Now that I'm an Oakley resident, I still come in almost every day, and I sit and listen to the conversations of the people around me. You know, the guys who are talking about the big elf they just bagged, or the folks who are taking their kid to college for the first time. People just traveling up and down the highway. Real people, just like you and me and they find just what I find here, real people to serve them. There's history, there's scenery. We hope you'll stop and see us soon. Welcome to Oakley.